friends and welcome to another Breakfast with Bacon. I'm Claire and I'm here with Dr. Bacon. This month we're going to be talking to you all about everything to do with the heart and today we'd like to talk to you about cholesterol. Everybody has kind of a little bit of knowledge about cholesterol like is it too high, is it too low, it seems like it's a constant struggle, it's very confusing for people. Right. So what, what do you think about that? Is well, there a too high or a too low? Well I'll tell you that's, that's a good question because literally every cell in the body can create cholesterol on its own, except for the brain. The brain cells can't create its own cholesterol. So if cholesterol is not needed and we should suppress it, then I don't think you know that makes sense that everybody can make it. You know what I mean? It's probably one of those things that if cholesterol is too high, and remember, high and low is kind of relative to the individual. There is adequate numbers that we're trying to shoot for, but there's a reason that it's high, and there's a reason that it's low. We shouldn't just suppress it. We should understand why it's high. Most of the time that it's high, it's probably due to inflammatory burdens or things like that in the body and the body's trying to repair because cholesterol is the backbone of every steroid hormone and the building blocks for these cells. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's too low, some of the symptoms, in fact, I want you guys to know this, some of the symptoms of having low cholesterol, Claire, give us an idea. Like cognitive decline, like mm -hmm. memory issues, short-term memory, and you know things like retelling the same story kind yes. of over and over and not really understanding that oh, you already said that, mm -hmm. um, you know, like constantly forgetting where your keys are yeah and you know anything else just generally memory and cognitive um, there can also be like problems with muscle cramping yep um, muscle soreness things like that yep right there can also be issues with like dizziness circulation even like erectile dysfunction yep. like because you don't have enough raw materials to build the amount of those steroid hormones that you need these are hormones that keep you standing up with energy, walking around, yeah. and happy. So a lot of people who have low cholesterol really have trouble with mood. Um, they tend to be depressed or maybe just not feeling engaged. Like they're just not lit up. Yeah. You need hormones to really feel alive. So we, we don't like to see on people's blood work when their cholesterol is, is too low. It's really not a healthy thing and it doesn't get any attention. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? So we talk about the LDLs and the HDLs, right? Like they say LDLs are the bad cholesterol, mm -hmm. HDLs are the good cholesterol. Literally, it's adequate to what we're dealing with. The LDLs are carrying food and nutrients out to the periphery. HDLs are bringing cholesterol back to store it in the liver or not, you know, unutilized cholesterol back so that the liver can then store it and then mm -hmm. send it back out. Remember, 80% of cholesterol for the body comes from the liver. 20% is coming from your food and nutrition. Now, that segues right into vitamins and nutrition okay. for it, right? Literally, what we should be doing is actually supporting the body. Remember, when you chew on something fat, you get a release of chemicals. Cholecystokinase is a, is a strong one that actually goes to the liver and tells the liver, look out, here comes some fat. So then your body says, okay, squirt the gallbladder because we're gonna push the bile. Now, those of you who don't have a gallbladder, then you're literally just squishing bile out of the little bile duct, so it's not gonna be adequate. This is where, yeah. if you don't have a gallbladder, let us know there's things that we can be taking. And one of them, perfect, is like Livton, which is a cholagog, has globe artichoke heart in it, things like this to help actually get bile moving through the liver so that it can support mm -hmm. fat metabolism. Another product that we use is Colaplex. Colaplex is like overall cholesterol kind of supportive kind of nutrients. Like a, it's like a liver multivitamin. To 100% for fat metabolism in the body, which is a great product to be on. In fact, literally some people come in and they're like, I just want to be on that because I know my cholesterol is on the border or a little bit mm -hmm. high. Yeah. And that's great. However, we need to understand why it's at that level. We talked to about the inflammatory burden. So there's a lot of things that we just discussed right there. There are answers for this that we can kind of go over with you. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Once again, if you need us or have more questions, please look us up, like us on this, you know, forward this to your friends and family. If you have that uncle or that father that's constantly telling the same story over and over, <laughs> have his cholesterol checked because it may be too low or there may be a drug that's actually pushing it too low. And that's the idea behind this. We need to really know what we need to do to support them. So I hope you uh, appreciated this. And we'll see you guys again on the next Breakfast with the Bacons. <laughs> Thanks again.